Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 547, number of provinces. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So I have taken the first example from the Likud website. So in this problem we are given is connected input, where this input refers to the graph that is given, right? So here the first array represents CT1. So here 1 is 1 by default, it is considered as 1 connection and 1 is connected to 2. So basically these are the connections between 1 and other cities. So 1 is 1 by default and 1 is connected to 2, right? That is the reason why there is 1 here. You could see that in the graph, right? And 1 is not connected with 3. That is the reason there is 0 there. Similarly, if we see the next array, this array represents the connections of CT2. So CT2 is connected with 1. And CT2 by default itself is a 1. And CT2 is not connected with 3. That is the reason there is 0. And then this input refers to CT3. Where CT3 is not connected with 1 and 2. And by default, it is 1, right? And we need to calculate number of provinces, right? A province is nothing but a whole connection of a particular path, right? It is like from end to end. So, for example, here 1 and 2 are connected. Assume if I have more nodes like this, right? So, in this path, I can go from one node to any other node in this graph, right? So this will be considered as one province and assume if three and eight are connected, this will be considered as one province. So this will be one. So one plus one. So the answer will be two here. And what if there is a node that is not connected to any other node that will be considered as one province, right? So in the given example here, one and two are connected. So this will be considered as one province and three is not connected to any other node. So this will be separately considered as one province. So this will be one. So one plus one, the answer will be two for this example, right? So we are going to solve this problem using DFS approach. So now we will see how we are going to do this. So initially I will be having a province variable where I will initialize it as zero. So this will be my result, right? Then I will create an array of false based on the number of cities that is given, right? To track whether I visited this city or not. So initially all the cities will be false. So we are going to start from city one. So I will send one to the DFS function, right? So our node is one now. So when we visit one, we will make true in the visited array. Since I am visiting one, I am making true in the visited array. So now I will check all the connections from node one to all other cities in the given input. So initially I will pick node one and the neighbor will be one. So we are starting from one to three, right? That is one to n cities. And we need to check in the is connected input whether it is equal to one or not that is whether there is a connection or not so in the first city we need to see the first neighbor that is one right so it is equal to one so that is a connection so now we need to check whether we have visited the neighbor or not so the neighbor is one here we have visited here right it is true we have already visited the node one so we should not do DFS on one. We don't have to go further in my one, right? Now we need to pick the next neighbor. So we are still checking all the connections of one, right? So we are only changing the neighbors. We are checking the neighbors of one here. So now we need to check the two. So in the first array, that is the first city, there is a connection in between 1 and 2, right? It is equal to 1. So that is a connection between city 1 and city 2. So this is valid. Now we need to see 
whether 2 is visited or not. 2 is not visited, right? Since it is not visited, we need to do DFS on 2. So we are going further and further like this. Right? We are just moving further and further in the graph. That is why we are doing DFS. So the node will be 2 now. And in the visited array, we will make the city 2 as true. Since we are visiting now. So again, we need to start from 1, 2, 3, 4, the city 2. So we need to check all the neighbors of city 2 now. So the main node is 2. So the first neighbor of 2 is 1. So we need to check there is a connection between 2 and 1 or not. Yes, there is a connection. This is valid. And we need to check whether 1 is visited or not. 1 is already visited, right? That is already true. So we don't have to visit 1. So next we will pick the next neighbor, the 2 itself, which is also 1. And we need to check whether 2 is visited or not. 2 is already visited, right? So we don't have to visit 2 further. Next, I will pick 3. And there is no connection between 2 and 3, right? That is 0 here. So this is not valid. The first condition itself fails. So we don't have to do anything further. So we move back, right? So we have written outside of my DFS function. So we are in 1, right? So since we have visited all the nodes from 1, we need to increase our province by 1. That is, we have seen a 1 province in the DFS function. We have seen 1 and 2, right? So that is considered as 1 province, right? So we have to increase our province by 1. Then I will pick city 2. Now I need to check whether I have visited city 2 or not. Yes, I have already visited. That is, it is already coming into the first province. So I don't have to visit 2 further. So I will pick the next node, that is the next city 3. Since city 3 is not visited, I will visit 3 now. So I will send the node 3 to the DFS function. Right? So since I am visiting, I will make 3 as true. And now I will check all the neighbors of city 3. So the main node is 3. And we will check the first neighbor, the city 1. And there is no connection. So we don't have to go further. And we will check the next neighbor city 2 and there is no further connection so we will see whether there is a connection between city 3 and city 3 itself and there is a connection but city 3 is already visited so we don't have to go further right so we return back again here and when we return back we need to increase our province by 1 since we have seen all the connections from 3 to any other nodes since there is no connection for 3, we will just consider 3 itself as province and we will increase our province by 1. Since we have visited all the cities, so we will just return province as my answer. That is 2. Right? That's all the logic is. Now we will see the code. So before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. And also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So here n is the number of cities. And we are initializing provinces as 0. And we are creating the visited list of faults. Right? So here I am writing a loop where I will start visiting from node 1. And I will send node 1 to the DFS function. Right? And after visiting all the neighbors of node 1, I will increase our province. And so on. Then in the DFS function, I will make the current node as true in my visited list. Then I will start visiting each and every neighbor of the current node and I will finally calculate the number of provinces and in the end and I will return the number of provinces that we calculated. Right? That's all the code is. Now we will run the code. As you guys see, it's pretty much efficient. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. Also check out my previous videos. Keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers guys.